Jonathan here at Colfax Math. Today I was going to do a short video, just an overview of algebra, um, how algebra works and how simple it is to get started. So let me just go back a few years in math class to arithmetic. And you can see that arithmetic and algebra are really very similar. There are four operations in arithmetic, addition, and then the reverse of that, subtraction, multiplication, and the reverse of that, division. Basically, you start math class by going 5 plus 4 equals what? And the way, the way you see that is on a number line, right? And you start right here at 0. Here you start at 5. From 5, you go plus 1, 2, 3, 4, and you end here at 9. And really, the step from this to algebra is a really simple step. All you're saying right here, 5 plus 4 equals what? This right here is your unknown, and you're calling that unknown a variable. And really, the only thing a variable is, is an unknown. So 5 plus 4 equals what? It's like saying 5 plus 4 equals x. So that's how easy the introduction to algebra is. This idea on the number line is still significant, and then eventually we're going to move to two-dimensional space where the number line is x and the vertical number line crossing it is y. So let's say instead of having 5 plus 4 equals x, I have 5 plus what is equal to 9. Well, 5 plus what equals 9 is saying I need to get this thing separate or by itself. So I take 5 away from 9. And that's really an algebraic expression. All I'm really saying here is 5 plus what, or whatever we're going to call what, it will call x. X is just a common letter for an unknown, a variable. And now I'm saying 5 plus what equals 9, just like you did in arithmetic. It's really the same thing with algebra, except for the unknown we're calling a variable X. And now we're solving for that variable X. So really what I want to do in algebra is isolate that variable X. And then the way I do that is I just reverse the operations to get it by itself. So if I have 5 plus x equals 9, I can subtract 5 from both sides of the equation. 5 minus 5 is 0. That thing's um, removed. Now I have x by itself. 9 minus 5 is equal to 4. So that's how you solve an algebraic e expression or equation. And it's really just an add-on to the arithmetic that you've always done. So that's a quick overview of algebra. I'll do a little bit more on algebra, but we're basically going to use these operations in the reverse of these operations, right? If I have 5 plus x equals something, well, the reverse of plus is minus, so I subtract 5 from both sides to isolate my variable. Okay, so let's do some more algebra. Let's say now instead I have 5 times x equals 20. This is saying 5 times what is equal to 20. Well, the reverse operations of multiplication is division. So I could divide both sides by 5. 5 divided by 5 is equal to 1. So I have 1x. If I do that to the left side, I do it to the right side. 20 divided by 5 is 4, and x is equal to 4. The check of that is take that and plug it into there and see if it works. 5 times 4 is 20. That does work. If the two things are next to each other like this, it means multiply. If there's a little dot in between them, it means multiply or even a multiplication sign. All those mean the same thing. So let's say we have a few more operations. Let's put a compound set of operations in now. Let's say I have 7 plus 2 times x is equal to 21. So now I need to figure out what number do I plug in here that I multiply by 2, add 7 to it, to equal 21. Well, the way I do that is I just reverse those operations. So the first thing I want to do is remove the 7 from both sides. So I do 7 minus 7. I can do whatever I want as long as I do it to both sides of the equation. So I'll subtract 7 from over here. 7 minus 7 is 0. That leaves me with 2x. 
21 minus 7 is 14. So now I have 2x equals 14. Still solving for x, trying to isolate my variable x, get this thing by itself. I'm multiplying. The way I reverse that is division. Divide both sides by 2. These cancel. 2 divided by 2 is 1. x is now by itself. And x is equal to 14 divided by 2, or 7. See it down there? So that's a couple steps now. Now we have multiple steps. So that's really how easy algebra is. It's really an extent of, of arithmetic. Only difference is I'm plugging in a variable x or y or anything I want for the thing I don't know what it is. However, once I use that variable, then x is going to be equal to 7. Let me just say a couple other little pieces um, about algebra. This right here is an expression. When I have 3 plus 5 with no equal sign, that is only an expression. So the answer is 8, but I can't do anything to both sides because there are no both sides. Versus 3 plus x is equal to 5. Now I have an equation. Equation as an equal sign. I have an equal sign in here. And I can do whatever I want to either side of the equal sign as long as I do it to both sides equally. So that's an equal sign. So again, to solve for x here, I subtract 3 from both sides, and I have x is equal to 2. This idea of algebra is the foundation for years and years of math class. Uh, algebra 1, geometry, algebra 2, pre-cal, trig, your algebra skills have to be good. So make sure when you start out on algebra, it makes sense to you, and that you're able to put all the pieces together, because you're going to use this forever forward in math class. The other thing about um, algebra as well, this idea of isolating variables is probably one of the best problem solving techniques there is. So I like to work on cars, I like to work on machinery. Kind of the key to working on things is to only look at one thing at a time, to isolate a variable. So if you're trying to figure out, diagnose a problem, you're trying to isolate variables and remove them from the equation. So the big idea of isolating variables is a great problem-solving technique. So this is Colfax Math, just a really quick overview on an introduction to algebra, why you need it, how it works, and how it's really just a small extension from arithmetic. So if you like the video, hit like. I'd really like to hear your comments below. And subscribe to Colfax Math if you want more videos on math. All right, thank you for watching.